Hey everybody, look who is in a better mood, this girl. So let's jump right into it. Yesterday, the whole world was doing a collective ugly girl cry from the end of Color Purple when the two sisters reunite watching President Obama in his farewell speech. I felt strangers were hugging each other. A lot of my friends who were there said that actually there were white people in attendance who were more hysterical than a lot of African Americans or minorities in general, but I'll get to that in a moment. Long and short, everyone was just in the depths of their emotions and it didn't help that it was raining and it still is raining in Chicago. That being said, this morning I woke up and instead of feeling like even more depressed, I knew Voldemort was coming on the news and I just turned to VH1 because I was like, I would rather give Mona Scott Young more play than give any ratings to this idiot that is on stage right now. Same thing happened. A bunch of words were said. Couldn't nobody understand him. He dodged all the questions and I feel like at the end he might have been like, you're fired and just stormed off in a tizzy. He's just upset because he looks like a vagina. But that's not nobody's fault but him and Father Time. You should have made a better deal with the devil like LeBron for his hairline or like Dorian Gray. Deal with it. In regards to what I loved though about how invigorated I felt when I woke up this morning. Even in the light of looking at Donald Trump's ugly rooster redneck face. I was happy because for the first time in a long time, I felt like I had a renewed purpose as an American citizen. Because case in point, just like after the I Have a Dream speech or after the civil rights bill was made into law or after the lynching bill was passed into law, black people can just go, okay, girl, we have made it. We can chill now. This is not us getting our 40 acres and a mule, y'all. Even with President Obama having two terms. As we clearly can see, white lash truly happened and people still want to send us back into the Stone Ages. So it is up to us to do our due diligence to make sure that that does not happen. He literally turned his farewell speech almost to a legit call to action. It was like, look, I'm going to say it without saying it, but white working class Americans are the reason why everybody collectively is going to have to be screwed. So everyone is going to have to pick themselves up by their bootstraps to get us through these next four years. It just, it is what it is. You think if something happens because of Trump and his BS that he ain't gonna literally bunker down in one of his many towers and be good and the rest of his billionaire cabinet isn't gonna do the same? Exactly. We're the ones that are gonna suffer from it. So we're the ones that need to make sure right here and right now that we are calling his cabinet to task for all the bullshit that they want to try and pull. Whether it is the leader of the board of education as I like to call it or secretary of education whatever the formal title is but this broad ain't never stepped foot in a public school in her life or the fact that Vince McMahon I just cannot get over that WWE now has a place in the White House that's hilarious or the fact that Jeff Sessions is now on possibly his second denial into anything of a federal level because he just can't stop calling everybody niggers and saying that the reason he don't support the KKK isn't because they think, you know, that lynching or killing or completely humiliating, belittling, and just being bigoted to a demographic of people other than the Aryan race isn't bad enough. But on top of it, they smoke weed. Oh, no, girl. I, th I was just going to deal with them. I was okay with the lynching as long as they did it with, you know, fresh lungs. As long as they did it with, like, a clear respiratory system. So, our job is cut out for us. This is about to be a hard four years. How hard we make it is going to be determined by the effort that we put into stopping the nonsense in its tracks. We need to be petitioning right now in terms of making sure that Jeff Sessions is denied again. The Washington Post already released the letter that Coretta Scott King put out the first time he came up for a federal appointment. And she was like, oh no, girl, he does not have the characteristics to fairly judge a beauty pageant, let alone to sit and try people on a national domestic scale. Nah, bruh, especially coming from Alabama. Alabama? Bruh, stop the games. On top of it, past even a macro level, we need to know on a micro level, who are our aldermen? Who are our city councilmen? Who is our water reclamation commissioner? That was a position I never... Every time I used to look at the ballot, I was like, water reclamation, whatever, who names sound the nicest? I don't know. Or maybe in my head, if and God, I'm going to be frank, if I was like, there's a bunch of Irish 
I'm like, I'm going to just go with a minority. I don't know who these other people are. But at the end of the day, you don't think water reclamation is important? Let's ask the residents of Flint, Michigan, how they feel about clean water and the fact that they still do not have clean drinking water. So you need to know who those people are that you're putting into office. You need to know who are the ones that are proposing sugar taxes on soda. Don't get me wrong, now that's something I don't think is an issue, but I'm like, who is making this sort of decision? Who is sitting here and going to the governor and like lobbying for him to push bills or what bills he should push and which ones he shouldn't? And then most importantly, who are the judges? Who are your appellate court judges? Who are your, your state judges? Who are your, your local Cook County, or Cook County is for me, I'm sorry, I realize that I'm speaking in Chicago term, but who are your county officials in terms of judges? Because every time someone gets thrown into county jail, they're going up against a county judge, and if his record is to put all the black, brown, and, you know, cream-colored uh, demographic in jail, but he giving everybody who's melanin deficient just probation, we got a problem here. Because that's the record of you being biased in one direction and not truly being a judge. And when it comes down to judges, let's all keep it funky fresh. We know, we never know who our judges are. So that's something that I want us to collectively start doing. An easy way to do that, you can go to your city or website and from there start to go through the different like task bars that they have. Like for me, it's cityofchicago.org. So from there, I would go and look up all the aldermen. They Then if you go on the aldermen's pages, it starts to show like when they have community meetings, all the police departments have specific districts. Figure out what district you live in. You can't complain about police brutality, but you don't have any relationship with any other officers. You don't know if the officers come in from Inglewood, California, Inglewood, Chicago, Inglewood, Bangladesh, you don't know who he is. So it's like at the end of the day, we all need to do the due diligence to know who it is that we're electing because, well, hmm, minus the presidential vote, the popular vote still should be the one that counts. So I take all of the sadness, all of the tears that I had yesterday in terms of what President Obama meant to all of us and also just the, the sheer disgust of knowing that we are going from that skydiving to this and you just have to take it with a grain of salt and know we've gotten through crack we've gotten through slavery we've gotten through a lot of other things yes we definitely are going to get through this yes i understand it's traumatic for all of us but at the end of the day we are a resilient people americans are resilient and trump is not gonna stop nothing or stop no show and maybe if we're hopeful maybe if we're lucky He'll be too wrapped up trying to explain to the powers that be why he thought it was okay to give his best white imitation of R. Kelly. And we won't have to deal with him for that much longer. Peace, everybody. Make sure you educate yourselves. And I'll see you all tomorrow.